Now, don't get me wrong, I really like this wheel. As I was saying, I really like this wheel. The problem is, it's just, it's not very exciting. And apart from not being very exciting, there's also some things I don't really like about it. So today, I am going to change that. Now, this video makes no sense, so let me give you some context. I want to completely modify my Fanatec McLaren GT3 rim, starting with the rubber grips. Okay, now, back to the past. So I entered this pretty sketchy warehouse, but I accidentally entered through the back door where I was greeted by a very nice old man who works there. Come, you wanna come in? Yeah, please. Cool with you. Thank you. I explained how I was filming a video where I modified this wheel and I was looking to remove the rubber grips and wrap it with leather instead. Okay, well that I probably don't know. Like you, like you wanted, would, would, like an estimate. Yeah, exactly. Um, the guy, <laughs> the guy that you need to talk to just went in the bathroom. Okay. He's been out on a boat, so he might be in there a few minutes, but... Now it was time to wait while the guy I needed to talk to took a sh So there's two things. I'm hoping that when you pulled this rubber off, you'd find more of this carbon fiber type plastic. But when that's said and done, you don't know what's under there until you cut it off. And hopefully that's the case, because if it's not solid under there, then you're kind of in trouble. Right. But once you peeled it off, that would shrink this down quite a bit. So then you'd have to feel it in your hand and see if you wanted to try and build it back up some, or if you wouldn't want to just put the material right over this rubber, because it wouldn't get a whole lot larger. There's no, Nothing I can take apart. This is part of this. Yeah. So I have to take a piece that's gotta be the exact correct diameter to come around and meet itself. And then you have to sew a seam on either side and then you have to hand lace it on. And you have mm -hmm. to start and stop and start and stop and then replicate it over here. I mean, that would be one of those, that could cost five, six, seven hundred dollars to, to do. Okay, well. Five to seven hundred dollars. Um, unfortunately, I don't think I don't think we have the financial capabilities to do that. <laughs> so we don't have the capacity. <laughs> now the price estimate makes total sense, so I'm not really bummed out about that. Anyways, remember the white GT3 parked out front? Well, it belonged to the owner of a tuning shop a little down the street, who gave me permission to film a few cars. Anyways, back to the video. Planning for this exact thing to happen, I of course prepared a plan B.
Now you may be wondering, well, what's inside this suspicious white little box? Well, I'm pretty sure I know what it is. If I figure out how to open it. Um, ah, there it is. So, for, actually, hold on. One of the biggest complaints that a lot of people have about the Fanatec McLaren GT3 rim are regarding these paddle shifters, which, frankly put, don't feel too good to press down and don't give you much of a satisfying click. So a company called Simmakers was kind enough to send me their carbon fiber magnetic mod for the McLaren GT3 V2. Jeez, look at that. No wonder it's so expensive. God, these feel so good. All right, let's put this on the wheel. So first things first, I need to figure out how to take out these orange paddle shifters, which I actually have no idea how, so. Naturally, I did what anyone would do. Okay, what? Why is this so much harder than I thought it was going to be? Please don't tell me this is all just to remove the paddle shifters. Oh lord, it is. So, after some careful consideration, I realized that I may not be the most qualified person to take this wheel completely apart, but my brother happens to be a mechanical engineering student and will probably be able to do this without a single problem. So, this looks like a project for him. I need your help. And after some convincing, we were off to the races. And by we, I mean him. I was just recording. Why are you so long? Because I didn't know you would be filming today. I was gonna go cut them when you. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Everybody saw them already. Bruh. While he did that, I figured I'd use the opportunity to install the other mod I received, a custom Alpine livery by the guys at Lovely Stickers. Since I was already putting my family members to do all the work, I knew the perfect person for this job. Mom! If you don't put it back together right, the pad is gonna have gone wrong in it. <laughs> that would be so good. I can't tell if that's a nervous laughter or an actual. Both. Now I'm in the game, I was on the bench. First I was renting, now I'm collecting rent. First it was the beamer, now I want the bands. Spending all the back, like here I go again. Overall, I'm extremely happy with how this project turned out. Even though I wasn't able to replace the rubber grips, the new design paired with the magnetic carbon fiber paddle shifters have transformed both the look and the feel of this wheel. The installation of the paddle shifters was a lot harder than I expected, but absolutely worth it once said and done. And for someone who wasn't a big fan of the McLaren logo, the high quality sticker with the Alpine livery has made a huge difference. I want to give a massive shout out to both sim makers and lovely stickers for providing the mods I showed in this video. A link to them both can be found in the top of the video description. I guess I should also thank my family members for doing most of the work too. As always, thank you all for watching, stay safe, and have a fantastic rest of your day.